A Baltimore small business owner says she's on cloud nine after leaving the White House, attending a roundtable discussion with President Donald Trump. WJC's live Marcus Washington has details on Lisa Phillips' experience. Marcus. Well, Vic, this is a lifetime opportunity for Lisa. She says that she is so excited to not only share her concerns, but her success with the President of the United States. And she is the only business owner in the state of Maryland to attend the roundtable. Time to move this. Straight from the White House, Lisa Phillips is back to work setting up her next event. Owner of the event planning company Celebrate Us, Lisa is the only business owner in Maryland invited to the roundtable discussion at the White House with President Trump and daughter Ivanka. Lisa, tell me about the excitement as you're walking through the doors of the White House. You keep pinching yourself because you don't think it's true. You don't think it's real. I'm really at the White House. Wow. I'm going to get to talk about my business, get to meet some other amazing business owners from around the country. And like I said, if this is a dream, don't wake me up. The roundtable is part of the president's campaign promise to reach out to local business owners. Today's event promoting economic empowerment for women business owners. They're bringing us in because they want to hear directly from us. What are your challenges? What are your successes? What is it that the administration can do to help grow your business? And during the roundtable at the White House, Lisa says she was also able to talk about how her business has been able to succeed with a partnership with East Point Mall. People come in, they enjoy their event, and they go out and shop in the mall. So it's a win-win for the mall as well as for my company. It's an opportunity Lisa says she never would have imagined for herself, a small business owner being invited to the White House to share her experiences with the President of the United States. He listened intently. He asked us a lot of questions, and um, it was just really, really, really very heartfelt. And Lisa says this experience is, experience is a direct connection between small businesses and the White House. She also says that she learned a lot from the other business owners at the event, and she says there is a lot more to be done right here in Baltimore. We are live tonight on Marcus Washington, WJZ Eyewitness News. Well, Marcus, we're going to have to come up with a reason for her to plan us a party. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Birthday's coming up, right? <laughs> uh, how about that? Well, according to the National Association of Women Business Owners, there are currently nearly 9.5 million businesses in the United States owned by women. Nearly 3 million of those businesses run by women of color.